Here inside the Vine Center tonight, the Lady Flames get it done against the University of Virginia in five sets, and Liberty knocks off UVA for the first time since 1979. Joined now by Caroline Douglas, 27 kills tonight for you, Caroline. Uh, just take us through the match, the emotions, the ups and downs. What was it like up there? Yeah, it was definitely an emotional roller coaster. Um, but I think one thing is um, our side stayed the same throughout the whole five sets. They're a great team. Um, and sometimes they picked it up and sometimes they made errors. But I feel like our team stayed steady the whole entire time, um, just sticking to game plan and sticking to what we know. Um, so it was a lot of fun. You lost that – or you won the first set, up, rather. Then you lost the next two. You know, what's going through, you know, your mind coming out there in that, that fourth set? Yeah, well, when we went back and it was 1-1, um, we were talking in the locker room about how we were playing well and how um, if we stick to that, we can break them down. Um, and they're definitely a great team, but I think um, especially throughout the third set and the fourth set, um, we really fought to stay together as a team um, and to keep focused on our side, and I think um, we did a great job of that. Fell behind 6-1, to one, I think it was, in the fourth set. What clicked at that point? We're playing UVA in Vine Center. You know, there's not much else you need besides that to motivate you just to, to play your absolute best that you can. You mentioned the number, 27 kills for you tonight. What was working offensively out there tonight? Oh, Kayla was setting awesome right now. She's, um, she's doing so well, and our passers were flying around um, and putting Kayla in great position. So I think it was a full team effort of just flying around and touching volleyballs and just bettering the ball as we go. So I may have gotten 27 kills on paper, but that's attributed to everybody. And not all of them were big swings either. I mean, some of it was, you know, you got to have the little finesse touch in there occasionally. Right, you got to mix it up a little bit, get them, you know, on their heels. So. Yeah, it looks like you guys were able to do a good job of that. Hey, again, just what was that locker room like a, a minute ago when you guys celebrating the win? It was awesome. We got back there, and um, we all like to wait for Coach Pender before we let our, our big cheers. So we all got back there, and we're like shushing each other, trying to make sure everybody was like ready for the big moment. And then Coach Pender comes in and gives one of his big fist pumps. And it's just it's awesome to know that, you know, the first time in 35 years that we beat UVA. And he, he wrote up on the board, you know, LU2 and UVA30, and that's the wins prior to this game. And he erased the number two and put three and said, I just want you all to know y'all are one of the teams that um, have a win on that that side and that's awesome pretty good stuff caroline thanks a lot for the time congratulations on the victory thanks joined now by head coach shane pender and uh, coach i know recently you guys had a chance to beat virginia couldn't get it done now you get them back here in the vine center and you do get it done in five sets uh, what was that like to, to be able to come back and and get it done after the last time Always exciting, and you know, especially for Caroline and Gabby and a couple of those kids, Mel Race. Uh, they were here a couple of years ago when we were down there up 0-2 and, and ended up losing in five. And so they they remember that. So really excited for them being able to come back and get it done. And and um, you know, I thank Dennis from from UVA for coming down here and playing. And uh, they have a great program. He does a great job. So have a lot of respect for them. But uh, obviously for our kids and our program, uh, it's been a long time since we've been able to beat them. Uh, I think it's 35. Five years. I'm not counting, but <laughs> but uh, anyways, excited for the kids in our program. Yeah, they have won the last 30 matches in the series. They got to go all the way back to 1979, but uh, no more. That streak is broken. Uh, let's go back to the first set. You guys going toe to toe with them. You come out victorious. And second set looks like they did some things to kind of take you out of your rhythm a little bit. Yeah, the second set came down to serving and passing, really the two basic uh, skills of the game. And uh, we didn't pass well up front. We got behind early. And against a team like that, it, it's really hard to make up points and rally scoring when you get too far behind. So the, the whole match we had to really grind. But we got back to 16 all, I think. We kind of tied it up or, or 16, uh, 14 all. And then they went on another run. Next thing I know, it was like 19, 14. So it's like we caught up and then uh, we let it go again. And and they did. They, they swung well. They they out. Um, they had more kills for us, and they were uh, than us in that set. And they were more efficient, and they won the defensive battle in that set as well. And that's what we talked about at the break: is is we got to get flying around again and make some better swing choices and, and be patient in the match. Drop the third set as well. You're behind two to one. I'm sure just the way you drew it up. You know, you wanted the dramatic comeback, but no, I'm kidding. Uh, but then you fall behind six one, and I think it was in the in the fourth set. And I asked Caroline about this, and she said. You know, all that clicked was it's UVA, it's Vine Center, we need to do something here. What did you see your team do at that point? 
Uh, that was it. I mean, the challenge was before us. I mean, the game was speaking to us. It's now or or it's over, right? Your your chance is over, and and she's she's dead on. Uh, that was what I was telling them, and and they knew it. That if we don't make a move now, get a ball down, uh, it's going to be even tougher. And they did. The next thing I know, it was six three. We made a couple of plays, and we were back in it. Uh, but this game. As you can see, momentum can shift so quick, so you're you're not really ever out of it if you just keep keep working. I was proud of our kids because they never gave in to the, to the moment completely. They kept working, kept staying together, and um, and they got themselves a victory. Caroline, 27 kills tonight. She'll defer all of the the attention to her teammates. But uh, from your perspective, coach, watching her out there tonight, how much she elevate her game? Uh, she's been special um, ever since she's got healthy and uh, back into the rhythm of playing. Uh, she's seeing the floor really well, and I know her mind's clean because when we give her information, she's changing it right away out on the floor. So you know she's thinking clear and uh, clearly and seeing clearly, and uh, I think that's about four or five 20 kill matches. I mean she's just really, and, and it sets the tone for us, right? She she sets our toughness out there, and uh, really proud of her as much as she's had to fight to get back in the game, the game that she loves, and, and injuries has kind of hampered her, but uh, she's playing well right now. What's this win do for the program, just in terms of attention? Uh, you know, I, I think it's a, it's a quality win, obviously, and and um, you know, hopefully, you know, with recruiting and the different things we're trying to do, it, it sends a message that you know we can play at a high level, and uh, and we are a play a place you can come to and, and play quality volleyball, you know, and have a shot to uh, to play for a championship here, and um, that's what we're fighting for. All right, coach, appreciate the time. Congratulations on a big win tonight. Yeah, thank you. So Lady Flames head volleyball coach Shane Pender again, Liberty victorious over Virginia here tonight in the Vine Center in five sets. My name is Nick Pierce for the Liberty Flames Sports Network.